people who are out there right now, the people who are all around us everywhere, we are all together in this. This climate change uh, crisis is something that is hitting us from so many sides that we can't see it. If we go to our media, we don't hear about it. We hear about ridiculous stuff that doesn't mean anything. We hear them arguing and pontificating about polit political views, all these things that are meaningless in today's world. And we as the people all around this, all around this world can do something about it if we work together and try to do natural things, things that help you make decisions about what to, what food to get, where to go to buy it. Don't go to the wrong place to buy the right food. Research. People need to read a little bit and find out what they're doing so that they can help. It would be great if we all stopped using fossil fuel, but we know that the world would come to a crashing halt if we did that. But. It could come to a crashing halt anyway. So we, we need to forget about those kind of things and think about natural things that we could do. What's the best way to get down there? It's a mile and a half. Probably the best way to do that would be to walk. It's a natural thing to do and it makes your body stronger and it makes you hungry for good food. And when you start thinking about that, then, then the world is, is, is in your hand. You make the right decision, the natural decision for a natural way of life. Trying to do things the way they used to be before we got so smart and so greedy. And when I first came here with Willie and John and, and Dave, we had a lot of these red shirts around that said stop factory farms. This was in the first and second year of farming. There's, there's a couple of them right there. This is serious business. This factory farm thing doesn't work. 
It doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for humanity. It doesn't work for the planet. It doesn't work for the animals. It doesn't work for the humans. It doesn't work for anything that grows naturally. Everything that we do, we, we need to think about natural ways. What were the ways that our forefathers used? Because they worked. What we've done has gotten so greedy. Now, I'm not going to descend into the corporate farm assault, but I would like to say that we have a choice. And it's really the people on the street that are going to make the difference. The farmers are doing everything they can do, but without the people behind the farmers, it's not going to work. People need to support the farmers. That's not just a phrase. We need to think about the world and what we're doing in a natural way. Where is this food coming from? What can I do to get to it? How can I get there without hurting the planet? What things can I do today that help? What things can I leave off my list that are going to hurt something? And if we research this, we'll find that it's not that hard to figure out. So it's all in our hands. It's in the hands of the people of the world to support the farmers, to support everyone who's working for a better tomorrow. And a better tomorrow is based in natural ways. Mother Nature. Mother Nature will take care of Earth. We know that. We'll all be gone. We could be a, a shadow of what we were before, just a couple of species laying around here and there. But Mother Earth will still be here because Mother Earth has Mother Nature to protect her. And we need to follow those rules. We need to follow those ways, the ways, the natural ways of living. So that's all I have to say about this. This is so simple. People have to support the family farmers and support the world. Let's try to dig out of it by ourselves, doing natural things. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah.